is in with uh, Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen, and you are making a pork chop for us, and uh, you, you've got a little some, uh, some some little secrets to share. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, thank you for having me on today, by the way. Yeah. Um, Cheddar Scratch Kitchen, Allen, uh, Texas. I am the general manager over there. Um, kind of have a little homemade fun today. Uh, yes. I know it sometimes it's a little busy um, with our schedules and whatnot, and. Um, Come to show y'all how to come see by us some sometime okay. and uh, have a good recipe. Yes, yeah, so, so awesome we're starting with the pork chop here. Yes, ma'am. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little oil on here real quick. Mm -hmm. Get it all. Oh, what a good hot pan! Hot. Yes. Yeah, baby. Get it nice and seared. We already got a little pepper on there right now. I'm gonna throw a little salt on there for y'all. Get a little season. Let it sear up real nice. Look at your pan. This you, this is like a favorite, huh? Oh yes, I like the big pan. It's nice. Now while that's cooking over here, we got some sauteed onions, a little garlic over here. I already okay. cheated a little bit and I put some soy sauce in there right now. Okay. But what we're going to do is I'm going to throw a little brown sugar in there for you, about a teaspoon. We're not making a huge batch today, mm -hmm. okay. making this for us. A little Tabasco for a little punch. Mm -hmm. We've got a little cayenne pepper to add to that, a little spicy. Can't forget your bourbon and your beef base in here. Okay. That's what I was smelling, the bourbon. Okay. Oh, yeah. Great, great smell over here. And again, if you're it worried about it, it, it cooks off, during, the alcohol cooks off during that process. But it leaves yep. the flavor behind. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Excellent. Which is nice. So how long does it take to cook a pork chop like this? For a pork chop, it does take about 13 to 14 minutes. It is a little bit longer. Uh, we always like to make an incision right here by the bone. It helps it cook a little bit faster for the guests. Oh, uh, really? But Interesting. It, yes, now, do you put this in the oven too, or you just do it all on the uh, on here? So we start it in the oven, and that's where the 12 to 13 minute process starts. Got it. And then, I'm, like I showed you with the flambe and everything, when I put the oil down there, mm -hmm. we put that at the end, and we'll put this nice. bourbon on there too. That's the, the finished product right there. Okay, nice. That so it reduces great. down, thickens up a little, becomes almost uh, like like a sauce. Yeah, it's a little bit like a teriyaki with some onions on mm -hmm. it, but great flavor yeah. with it. What else do we yeah. have here? We have some homemade uh, croissants right here. These were actually one of our favorites. We've had them since we've opened the restaurant. Um, chicken pot pie, very awesome. Comes with a super salad. Mm -hmm. That is the finished product of the pork chop, by the way, and that is our salmon with the nice broccoli side. Yeah, there's the salmon and there's the pork chop. Just uh, introduced on the menu, right? Yes, ma'am. We came right. out in February. Um, always at the end, we like to give this kind of for our guests. Kind of pour that bourbon on top, so you're not only getting the bourbon seared on there, but you're also getting that on top as well with the underring. So it's oh, a nice little nice. flavor with that. And yeah, it's got a nice little zing to it too. Yes, sir. Yeah. How many locations now in the area? Uh, in the area right now, we have 12. We're actually building a new one in Denton, um, coming oh. around in July 17th. So okay. any UNT students out there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cheddar right. Scratch Kitchen's coming for you. All right, you, you can you. Uh, find this recipe and a link to Cheddar's on Fox4News.com. We'll be right back with a check of your forecast. It is, uh, it's going to be changing over the next couple of days.